Welcome everyone, say good morning to you. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for this blessed special occasion where you shall witness the holy matrimony of two people being committed and united before God and you as the witnesses. This is a special occasion and I thank each and every one of you for being here. Now, for the most glorious and beautiful moment, I would like to introduce as well as show to you the angel of today. Please stand. <laughs> Good morning once again. Now I shall read to you after you are seated. <laughs> this is a passage from our Lord God that we all should be committed to. For it reads, The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman, freely and to totally committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord declared that man shall leave his father and mother and unite with his wife. In the building of a home, and the two shall become not two fleshes, but one flesh. Now, I ask, who gives this beautiful lady today? Her director of sales and I. <laughs> morning somebody was talking about how early it was they've never been to a wedding this early. Well out of all the weddings I've conducted I've never conducted a wedding this early. So this is a different one. But as we continue the home is built upon love which virtue is best portrayed in the 13th chapter of Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or both it is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things. Love never ends. So faith, hope, love abide. These three, but the greatest of these, is none other than love. Marriage is a companionship which involves mutual commitment and responsibility. You will share alike in the responsibilities and the joys of life. When companions share a sorrow, the, shop, the sorrow is had. And when they share a joy, that joy is double. You are exhorted to dedicate your home to your Creator, which is God the Father. Take His Word, the Bible, for your guide. Give loyal devotion to His church, thus uniting the mutual strength of these two most important institutions. Living your lives as his willing servants and true happiness will be your temporal and eternal reward in his kingdom. As though has brought them together by the divine providence, sanctity, then by the spirit that they may give themselves fully one to the other and to thee Give them strength and patience to live their lives in a manner that will mutually bless themselves and honor the holy name of none other than Jesus Christ. Now, I'm going to ask the two of you to join right hands. Join your right hands. Not left, but right. Okay. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I'm going to ask the two of you to take these vows. 
First, I will address you, George. George, will you take this Dallas Smith to be your wife? Will you commit yourself to her happiness and her fulfillment as a person and as a community and companion? And to her usefulness in God's kingdom? And will you promise to love, honor, and trust and serve her in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to her so long as you both shall live? I do. Dallas? Dallas? Will you take George? George? <laughs> or George Foster <laughs> to be your husband will you commit yourself to his happiness and his fulfillment as a person and to his usefulness in God's kingdom and do you promise to love, honor and trust and serve him in sickness and in health in adversity and prosperity and to be true and loyal to him so long as you both shall live Now, I have the wedding rings. Everyone knows this is a symbol of a circle that's united for eternity. The wedding ring is a symbol of marriage in at least two ways. The purity of gold symbolizes the purity of your love for each other. And the unending circle symbolizes the unending vows which you are taking, which may be broken honorably in the sight of God only by death. I want to repeat that. Because that's <laughs> <the case>. <laughs> <laughs> may honorably be broken only in the sight of God by death. As a token of your vows, you will give and receive these rings. shall be my people. 
your people see me in my feet. <laughs> and your God, my God. And your God, God, my God. Now, folks, since these two have made this commitment before God, and this assembly, which is you, with the power invested as well as given to me by God himself, as well as the state of Tennessee, I now pronounce and present to you the newly wedded Mr. and Mrs. Jorge George. <laughs> you are now married and you shall kiss the bride. about to witness now is something that uh, is very spiritually gifted as well as its anointing from God. This is a groom as you can see. However, now that these two have committed themselves before God as well as you as the witnesses, Dallas and George, you are leaving your past behind you. And I expect you to leave your past in the past because now you are taking a new journey. And the two of you are taking that spiritual as well as secular journey together as one. And in doing so, you shall cross that road from the past to the new journey of love in the future. If you both will, as soon as you cross this room together and jump, don't trip, but jump, <laughs> you shall cross over to your new lives. Please stand. And you all do it as you please. Just make I sure you don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> all right. One, two, three. Yay! 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 Thank you. 